Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave, right? So first of all, if you have watched my video, yesterday was one of the lowest views, uh, but that's fine. So I mentioned that till first half at least we may expect the sideways momentum, right? Some 40-50 points up move was there. It looked like a breakout about 25-450, but then only one candle and then after that there was no follow through candle right there was no confirmation of that breakout properly right so what happened it was completely sideways so second half as i mentioned that there is a possibility of some momentum it may or may not come that's exactly what i said right but around 1 pm if you see what was the data point i was using is if you remember some days ago you please comment which day i said you have to see the option chain of 26th September, if it is exceeding 1.52 level PCR, then it's a reversal sign, right? That's what I had mentioned, right? So today around 1 p.m., if you see around 1 o'clock, the PCR was 1.72, which is very high because 26 September is next week expiry. Generally, even just around the next week expiry starting or just before that, if this PCR is so high, definitely it indicates a overbought sign, right? So it is it was indicating a overbought sign. So exactly around 1 o'clock from 12.30, 12.45, I was keeping an eye around of this. It went to up to 1.75 as well. So somewhere around 1 o'clock, I entered a bearish position looking at the overbought PCR. What happened after that? Very luckily, I did not expect such a big momentum, but within 45 minutes or an hour, it fell more than 200 points, right? From 25.480, it fell up to 25 to 80, right? 200 points fall, right? So within one hour, 200 points. My, I generally don't buy options. Most of the time, I do option selling. But since I knew that uh, the PCR is very much overbought, so I knew that momentum has to come very soon, either today or tomorrow. I entered some put longs. Basically, it the money got doubled, right? That's a good thing. Although I did not expect it to happen, it happened. So that is why I say that always in market. You don't ask market where are you going and then try, try to take a trade. Let market tell you where it is going and then get aligned with that, right? So from morning, I was very much neutral. I didn't have any plan at all. Suddenly, one data point triggered and then I took a trade and it money doubled, right? That is not even my expectation, but market rewards more than what you expect also sometimes. It's not always that it will hit your stop loss or something wrong will only happen. This kind of good things also happen, but you just have to strictly follow the well back tested setups, right? So I was very confident either today or tomorrow it has to fall. So very good momentum, 200 points fall. Um, somewhere when my money got doubled, I exited the bearish position because it was beyond my target, expected target, right? Now the 25,400 calls that I had shorted, right? So update is I'm still holding that calls. Although I said that um, if it starts to close it above 25.450, then I will take a stop loss. But looking at these completely sideways, I was not confident of the up move. So I held that strongly. And so nothing much uh, changed in that. So I'm still holding the position 25400 calls short as well. right? Now let's look at the data for tomorrow and the expectation. But before that, let's look at the daily chart. I know today night some... Fed rate cut event or something is there, but generally I'm not too worried about any events. In my opinion, markets react more with the money flow and positions and what the charts tell, what the data tells, right? So for that reason, I'm not going into the details of whether it's a 25 basis point cut or 50 point basis point cut. There is a good probability that they might not cut also, right? So we'll not get into the details. It will be only ifs and buts. And you'll get hundreds of videos around that. Mine is purely technical analysis. So I'll stick to that, right? On daily chart, if you see, it kind of looks like an M pattern, although not a trivial M pattern, right? Some may call this a simple consolidation. But why I call M pattern is if you see two market went up, came down, went up, made a green candle, again, again somewhat has come down, right? So it kind of looks M pattern, even if you don't agree with that, that is fine. At least everyone would agree like this is a consolidation, right? So what is important is breaking of this level, right? I'll show you on the 15 minutes chart. Somewhere around 25, 300 breaking 
of that level we will quickly give the lower targets we will see that right so just wanted to show you the daily chart this is a long leg doji almost like equal week on the upside and downside so it's a neutral candle and bank nifty was excellent so did not expect but i was not even following bank nifty today uh, but it was an excellent move it went up to 1.5 percent also i think so it was an excellent move by bank nifty i think yesterday i said that even from last two days it was a sideways momentum the, whenever it breaks that sideways momentum one up move i think 50 to 560 was the one of the targets that i had mentioned maybe second target was 50 to 800 or something i don't remember but it was a very good move on bank nifty and the daily candle also looks bullish now what is important is we should see is it around any resistance yes somewhere around the previous resistance it is there right so we'll see how the levels are on 15 minutes start. let's look at the data index futures retailers have added 15,000 shots so that is bullish FIs have added 17,000 longs so that is also bullish only these two are somewhat significant but nothing very big as such the interesting part is in the options retailers have added 35,000 shots so it's a bullish sign because we take the opposite of retailers FIs have added 1 lakh 1,000 longs so that is also bullish Pros have added some 66,000 shots, so that is bearish. So, but overall, two out of three are indicating some bullishness on all side. Index puts retailers have added 3 lakh 5,000 put shots, right? So, yesterday it was net put shots was around 5 lakh. Today it has gone to 8 lakh. There is no fear for retailers, so they are very confident that nothing bearish can come through the uh, outcome of it or whatever is their concept that is fine. Basically, for us, the PCR will be interesting. I'll tell you one important data point there. Retailers have added huge put shots, so that is bearish. FIs have added put longs, so that is also bearish. Pros have reduced significant put shots, so that is also bearish. If you compare the call side and put side, you see the numbers are quite big on put side. So slightly, I am I would be more interested in a bearish trade than a bullish trade, although the levels will be important, but I am more inclined towards a bearish trade, especially on nifty because nifty looks weaker compared to bank nifty bank nifty daily chart is kind of very good right so nifty as i mentioned let's look at the levels but before i see the levels one important point i said right so let me refresh this yeah okay. even before i refresh i'll show you here so for 26 september what is the pcr here you see 1.46 right what is the level i mentioned 1.52 or something around that level if it exceeds then it is overbought so tomorrow also i will apply the same logic right maybe tomorrow is expiry day so a new pcr will come after the expiry day but still if it is going something like 1.55 1.6 i'll be more confident especially if it is 1.7 like today i'll be further more confident in case of a big gap up then market can fall as well if the pcr starts to go beyond 1.55 let's say right so after that i'll take a confident bearish trade as well keep an eye on this 26 september pcr as well right so that is one important point and on levels more or less the similar levels are rested in 25 310 will be the first support maybe 25 25 290 to 25 310 the 20 points will act as a key support that once that is broken this entire consolidation area will be broken down right then we can expect targets of 25 205 and 25 130 are possible on upside now 25 485 is resistance level only if market starts to close above this then only bullish trades look favorable right and next resistance it's just an estimate it can come around 25 560 kind of levels let's look at bank nifty 50 to 860 and 50 to 950 are the two key resistances 53 205 will be the second or third resistance you can call on downside let 50 to 650 break right as of now it is 750 let 50 to 650 break then it will look like an m pattern breakdown then bearish trades look better or 50 to 465 and further 50 to 120 will be the key supports right so overall I don't know about any Fed event or whatever it's going to happen. The data is indicating more of bearishness and PCR is also kind of high as of now. In case of a gap up also, I would wait for a bearish pattern to form, especially big gap ups, right? Then I will take a bearish trade only 
in case of a flat opening i will wait for either of the levels to break then only take a trade right I, i'm open to both the sides but preferable trade is on bearish side in case of a big gap down as and when market tries to come up it will more or less look like a sell on rise trade as long as it is below 25 to 10 i hope the conclusion is clear india vix jumped by 6% so for that reason i think if you see the otm options as well right so something like this right 5 rupees 2 rupees got added so something like 70 80% gain in a day right so something like 2 rupees option got doubled almost right so these are all indicating a 100% gain that is mostly due to increase in ivs the implied volatility right and that is also because of the india vix indirectly as well right so that reason let's look at gift nifty as of now what does it say so i think gift nifty is kind of 26 points down and us markets i think are flat dow jones is minus 0.15% s&p is flat and it's natural us vix has jumped by 8% nothing major significant thing on india vix or us vix one important point which i feel is personally i feel it's nothing calculated here somewhere i get a feel that tomorrow it may be a moment of 1 1.5% range only looks like that uh, because it's a different explanation but i'll not go into the details so i think it's not going to be something like 3-4% move. That's my expectation looking at the uh, certain numbers. So somewhere around 1-1.5% either side is possible. Uh, as I said, I'll look for a bearish trade. I hope this video is helpful. Please do like, share and comment. Thank you all. Have a good day.